Hey, welcome aboard. I'm with Mr. Z, and tonight we're going to eat at Arepa's Venezuelan food. Wanted to do that before, hard to get a good picture over here. But let's go in and uh, check it out. It's supposed to be really good. Not a bad night to sit out tonight. Empanadas, carne asadas, chicken. Two sides. Black beans, fries, plantains. Okay, we're going to eat outside here. Uh, quite interesting in there. So we got a couple um, arepas, which are like a Venezuelan sandwich. Like a sandwich. With got like one a, with chi one with chicken and one like with beef. Kind of bun, thick, yeah, it like almost thick, looks thick. like an English muffin yeah. type of thing, and uh, but it's a very native Venezuelan food. Good. And you got the black bean and cheese, uh, cheese and, a, and a, uh, shredded beef. Yeah, shredded beef. So yeah, this is what it came out to. They'll call your number. Okay, we're at the 3902, so we'll see what it's like. Asada Arepa, Polo Arepa, Mechada Arepa, Bean and Cheese Arepa, so. Okay. Beef, beef, the beans and rice on the side, the cheese. Yeah. the rep is you will have to straight I don't know this looks like chicken this, looks this like is your cheese so this is probably your other one yeah that's a beef yeah. so there's two you got a, so you got a beef too oh, oh, yeah you got, I got you a got beef, one beef and a chicken I got the shredded beef yeah yeah here's some sauces yeah so I think you got I don't know if that's is that shredded beef yeah it looks like it I don't know it look like shredded beef to you I have no it? idea that yeah. looks like shredded beef like for the chicken that looks like shredded beef. I'll try to ask her real quick if that's... Let me actually shirt. look at it. Let me, I'll just pull it out real quick. I can yeah. take a look. That's what the arepas look like. That's kind of Ooh. the specialty of the house here. And they're a pretty decent size. If I hold one in my hand. Pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. We'll let Mr. Z take a bite and discombobulate himself on the That's flavors hot. and all that. That's Is that hot. a hot sauce? The green one, okay. yeah, be careful. All right. I just took a little taste of This is kind of like creamy. Yeah. Go ahead and give that a try. They don't cheat you on the meat, I'll tell you, for eight bucks. That's good. All right. Juiced all over me. We'll let you get under control there. Give this beef a rep a try. Almost reminds me of an in and out burger to package it. I always like to taste it first before I put the sauces and things on it. It's quite good. We unpack in the wrapper. Look at it. It's like a it's like a deep fried. It's like a pot. It's almost like a pita, right? And I think that's the difference. They deep fry it. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that. I like this. Is this the hot? That's hot. A couple of 
just fill you right up? Yeah. Let's try bites of chicken now. Loaded with chicken. As you can see. Tomato and lettuce on it too. What a good taste and the interesting thing to try for the first time. You can well, tell people you've had an erect right now. Always try different foods. There's Mr. Z's black bean and cheese. Let you give that a shot, see how you like it there. Give you the uh, hot sauce here. Yeah, we'll try the hot and, sauce, yeah. Yeah, then they give you a free cream sauce too. I like the hot sauce. Let's uh, let's review a rep is down here. We're at uh, Oakley at Las Vegas Boulevard. And first time I've ever had any type of Venezuelan food at all in a rep, which is really like a Deep fried pita pocket that they're gonna put meat inside. Good stuff. Of it being Different stuff. Good stuff. Eatable stuff. It's a little awkward. It might be nice to have a little description on the board to tell people what yeah. what an arepa is and things. I found myself reaching for the phone and just getting pictures of what an arepa is just to have an idea. So to find out. We're happy you look. That might be one critique that I would say here, but as far as the as far as the price you know about eight bucks for a a rep but i thought it was a very good price they didn't go cheap on the meat and no, the no. fillings the fillings were nice in it great ingredients and the size was good too i thought the uh, flavors were pretty good not the most flavorful beef i've ever had but it was certainly within the realm of uh being good you know i don't know about I'm used to Mexican, the way that uh, they'll get the char on the yeah. beef and things like that. This is more flat top grilled, yeah. cooked up as opposed to wood fire, so it's not going to have that sort of char flavor to it. But uh, anything that, what did you have? How about the bean and cheese? I had, oh, I had the shredded beef, which was good. And then the uh, second one I had was the black beans and cheese. Yeah. Hot sauce. Anything they could do to improve upon the experience? I think just like you said, too, just maybe a little bit more uh, info on the, uh, on the order of the boards. They were confusing. And sometimes I think some of the places that are ethnically oriented... They don't realize it. ...sort of cater to, I think, you know, they just want... They're just expecting certain people to come in. And maybe they don't really care... Um, you know, if you get a couple of Ringo, yeah, a Ringo or a Gringo coming in, but if it's a nice little explanation board. Well, they seem nice. Yeah, they're very nice people. Uh, very efficient operation. Uh, I thought the uh, arepa was a little greasy on the bottom of my beef one, like they just pulled it out of the deep fryer. I, I, I think they're moving kind of fast at dinner time. They don't have time to really drain that fry bread, sure, so yeah. you're getting a lot of... Um, oh, on the, the bread. The yeah, bread. yeah, dripping. Gotcha. So you're going to go through a lot of napkins. Let me assure you that uh, right now, okay? Grease makes it me. taste yeah. better. Exactly. So... Uh, would you, uh, so that's one thing that I would uh, do is kind of just not as, not as, not so much the liquid fat coming out of the thing. It's, you're going to need a ton of napkins and also a little more flavorful on the uh, beef and chicken, maybe a little bit more in the way of seasoning added. Um, but other than that, I enjoyed the experience. Would I return and try something else here? Yes, I would. And the, by virtue of the fact this place has been here I don't know, eight years at least, is tribute to they must be doing something right down here. So, I'm gonna give it... Uh, oh yeah, we, we ate outside here. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a little noisy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but it's a, it's a comfortable night tonight. So I'm gonna give it like seven and a half stars here. Uh, like I said, a little more flavor on the beef. I thought the value, the price was good, the service was good. 
And yes, I would definitely return. How many stars? Do yeah, I'll do. I'll do at least another eight again on this eight one. Eight star. There we go. Yeah, just you know, again, just the uh, the ordering boards. Just would you return again and try something? Oh, else? F yeah. Now that I know the board a little bit better. Yeah. F and yeah. Can't be kind. I don't want. I don't want the teacher to scold me. Oh, or do good. I? That's another restaurant review on the road, well over 200. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell for all notifications here so you see all these glorious food uploads. And as usual, your thumbs up are appreciated.